Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Daddles. Um, today we're gonna do, for this video, we're gonna do a little yarn and fabric haul. Um, decided to smush them together in a separate video for my podcast, uh, because there's quite a bit. Um, anywho, Welcome new subscribers. Welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have you here in my maker shenanigans um, I do like to do uh, the fabric things the yarny things and the DIY things So you will see a little bit of all of that here on this channel I consider this a maker channel if you like to make things you might like it here. So welcome mm. On this Tuesday morning. Yeah, it's still morning. Mm-hmm got my new carrot coffee cup because I love it so much. This is alright. I have a pumpkin spice coffee pot in there because my dad found it on clearance and I uh, mixed it with some caramel latte powdered creamer out of cold creamer and a little bit of milk. It's decent. Especially since this is my third cup today. Anywho, let's take a look at the yarn, shall we? So I have some yarn here from Hobby Lobby, Blueprint, Premier, and a little shop I found on Etsy. <laughs> so I will save, yeah, my Dumbledore quote club for my podcast. So Let's take a look at the yarn I got from Blueprint first because it's very simple to look at. Um, they had a 60% off coupon. They are ordering, they are shipping now. They weren't shipping for a while, um, but they are back to shipping. Of course, like anywhere else, shipping could take longer. It just depends. Y'all, I ordered some fabric from fabric.com that said it wasn't going to be here till June, like a month later, because they got a 30 day. So I had to order fabric. I wouldn't need it until July. It came the very next day. That was very strange. Anywho, so I took advantage of that 60% off coupon they sent me, um, and I ordered a pack of this, uh, this right here. Ooh, it's very pretty. It is Alpaca and Highland Naturals in Fog Heather. It was one of their dyeable packs. I have some in another base. I don't remember what it is that I ordered before when they had these 60% off coupons because it was a really good deal. You get 10 skeins in there. Um, of course, these are like half skeins, so 50 grams, 247 yards. Uh, this is a number one. It's 50% super fine alpaca and 50% fine highland wool. So this has a gray tone to it. So I wanted some dyeable yarn that had a gray tone. I haven't dyed any of my yarn. My intention with these yarns is not to dye it and then make something. I want to make something and then dye it. <laughs> I want to do it in reverse. So I just haven't had a chance to, but I like to take advantage when they have that 60% off coupon, I usually either get me a big quilting kit or something like this. A kit is the way to go because you get more bang for your buck. So, if you're not subscribed to Blueprint, I'll put my affiliate link down below. Um, I am subscribed to their, uh, what is it, subscription service so we can watch all the videos which I haven't watched in a long time I need to get back on there they have some interesting shows on there that are not just uh, classes you get access to all the classes but they have some like makery type shows that I have enjoyed watching I just haven't done it in a long time I need to get on there and do a class about learning more about my serger but I will eventually y'all cut my bangs again because they were wop-sided I don't know that I helped it out any. <laughs> Anywho, that's what I got from Blueprint. Um, so, you hear that tippy tapping? That's my dog walking around. Now let's take a look at what I got from Premier. They had these yarns. They were uh, three pack for six dollars. So I got some I had never tried it before. It's called 
Aurora, Aurora, yeah, and it is 100% acrylic, three and a half ounces, 166 yards, 152 meters, 100 grams. Um, it's number four, but I thought it was really pretty. Um, this is Woodland. Maybe y'all can see that. Yeah, you can see it pretty good in the package. I like that colorway. And I got it in uh, Tornado. I thought I gotta have that one. And if you look on the front, it looks like that's what this the cowl thing is made of. It's very pretty. I think that's knit. I'm pretty sure that's a knit pattern. It doesn't really say, but it looks knit. It looks like it works out really nice. It's like a chevron pattern. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. I did open up and feel of it. It's fairly soft. Not the softest, but it's fairly soft. So um, I got two three packs of those. Um, I'm pretty sure they were three for six dollars or something like that. They were having a lot of bag sales. Um, and I just took advantage of that one. So, let's look at my Hobby Lobby stuff. So now, I put in this order in Hobby Lobby. at 30% off the yarn. I was really looking forward to hopefully going to a clearance sale there again. But I don't know if they'll even have one because everything really went on. So, and, and plus then you'd have to go. My Hobby Lobby, closest Hobby Lobby, which is really an hour away basically, is in a town in Georgia. I said this before, they had the highest number of cases. It was like racing with Atlanta for the highest number of cases of this uh, thing going on. And I just really don't want to go to Albany. I have to go tomorrow to the doctor. I'm not looking forward to that. But anywho, so I ordered this stuff to try some yarns I hadn't tried before from Hobby Lobby. Um, most of these are yarn B. Uh, there's one, I love this yarn. Last night I put in another order with Hobby Lobby because some of these yarns are really loved and to try some more yarns because they had them 30% off. Yeah, not doing so great on the yarn band here lately. So, anywho, let's take a look. So, this one here is, I love this yarn. Um, this is a tweed, which, you know, I love tweeds. So I have three tweeds. Two are, one is a cream and I think one's a brown but this one I really liked. It's navy blue with a bunch of color. And y'all, this is very soft. I made that one blanket out of that. I love this yarn and I really loved working with it. So, um, I've ordered two more of these because it was so soft and I love it. This one is, it's navy tweed is the color. It's 97% acrylic, 3% viscose, but that's the little nips from the tweed. Um, it's a five ounce skein, 142 grams, 252 yards, and 230 meters. So the regular price is $4.99, but I got 30% off, you know, whatever that is. So I had got one of these, but I've got two more on the way here. Did I order? And I ordered some more. I love this yarn in, I think, the ombres and the prints. They had a ton of those prints that were just gorgeous. And. Most of them weren't sold out, so I got several of those. I tried to get some that worked together, but that I could see the different ones. So, now, these next two are called Yarn Be Glowing. Sage and Song is the colorway. I like that they put the color right up under the name on these, uh, Yarn Be so you don't have to search for it. This is a four ounce, 198 yard skein. It is, this is 60% acrylic and 40% polyester. It's very soft. It is, I loved the colors in it. This is not focusing. Y'all can see that color. It's got this marled effect which I love. So I got two of these because the yardage was a little bit lower. The regular price on this is $5.49, but it has the polyester in it, and that usually tends to up the price in a lot of these, which is crazy because polyester is the cheapest 
well depending on how it's made but it's still a pretty cheap fabric anyway and I also got this Mariposa Prairie colorway I liked the corals and the kind of tilly blue it reminds me of an ocean and sunset or something so I did get two of those as well um, I didn't get any more of that uh, I don't think I have any more in stock. And plus, I want to try some other things. And I had two of each of those. So, I also got one of these Rainbow Rhapsody things. You can see the regular price on these are $8.99. And Brilliant Blonde. Look at that. It's like sunshine. They have a bunch of these colors that I really love. But most of them were sold out. Um, this is very soft. Uh, this is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it works up. This is a number one. Um, I don't think I saw what size this is. This is number four. These were number fours. But this is a number one. So this is a fairly, this is a thin, like sock weight, fingering weight. Um, it's 918 yards on here, y'all. This is seven ounce <laughs> ball or cake um, I super this was this is very soft uh, for cotton and I ordered another one I found one more it's in the bluey green color way so I did get one more of these in my second order um, so now this little guy right here 44th Street is what it's called it is in the color olive 429 regular price I got this olive green mostly because it was the only color I could get at the time I have put in another order for a red they had a red I thought I could do something Christmassy um, y'all this is very soft it's 70% acrylic 30% polyamide which is a nylon um, a number three three and a half ounces 540 yards on this it's so soft, y'all. It's just... I feel safe putting this on my face because it's been sitting around for a long... Oh my gosh, it's so soft. You can just imagine a lovely cowl or big scarf to wrap around it. It's just so luscious. <laughs> luscious, y'all. Okay, so that's everything I got from Hobby Lobby this time. My next order is bigger. They were running a special where you could get free shipping for $50 or more. And they hardly ever have free shipping. So, I took advantage of that. And the 30% off of the yarn. So, I got quite a bit. My dog is bumping over here. Hopefully, it's not shaking the camera too much. I have to have arguments with my dogs because they think it's time to go out. It's a little after 11. No, it's not time to go out because I took them out at 7.30-ish. Between 7.30 and 8.00. And the reason I don't want to take them out until after lunch is because when I go back to school, I don't come back till, well, in the fall and spring, I come back. I leave school at 12 and I'll be back here by about 1245. So I want them to get used to going out so early. And in the summertime, I work from 8 to 2 when I go. So I'm a little worried that they're not going to be able to hold it. So I'm trying to make them wait. No, they very much want to look at me and say, I don't want to wait. <sighs> Anywho, so the last one in this little bit of the yarn haul is this. Um, it's it's a hand dyed skein, but it's also a D sash. I was looking at D sashes and I found this little shop that's in Georgia. Um, so let's look at her hand dyed yarn first. Um, it's called Cottontail Tea Company. And y'all, for the longest time, I thought that was like one of those, you know, the dog that has the big fur mustache, almost looking poof. What are those, Scotties? I thought it was a Scotty dog, but it's the back of a bunny rabbit. Duh, it's called Cottontail Tea Company. <laughs> it's It does look like one of those dogs, though, doesn't it? Y'all agree with me. So, this is 
I know it's out of Georgia. I can't remember. I've already put my thing in. But it is in Georgia. I think it's in northern Georgia somewhere. Uh, I want to say. Um, but this colorway is called Yellow Jacket. Very poofy and squishy. Um, it is soft as well. 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Palamide. I don't know why they keep putting Palamide on things. It's, from what my understanding is, the same as nylon. I don't understand what it is with putting the Palamide on here now. But, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 467 yards, 427 meters. It's a fingering weight, sock weight. Um, but, yeah. I got this color because these are the colors of the high school that I teach at in the afternoons. They are the Cougars. And it's blue and gold. So that's why I got this color. She didn't have that many uh, hand dyed skeins in her shop. Um, she had these, a couple of D stashes, and I feel like she had some other random things in there. So maybe we can get her to put more in there. But I do like this colorway. I'm interested to see how it works up. It does say that. Each skein is individually hand dyed, so I guess she just does some occasionally. But I will put her link down below. Cottontail Tea Company is the name. So this is the D stash stuff that I got. I got three each of these because I had never seen this before. This is obviously from another country. It says made in Romania for coats. Um. But it's it's somewhere in Germany because it's this is the I'm not even gonna try to say that word. But it's Boston Sun Classic. Let me get this to focus better. There we go. Yeah. I, I don't know. That is the name of the company because they have a website listed on the back. This is a number five. I got it in these two colors. I got three of each skein. This is a D stash yarn. Um it's a number five. Which, it's a, a smaller number five compared to some. i definitely say it's a little thicker than a normal four. So, it is 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. The three and a half ounces is 109 yards. It's very soft. Um, I'm not... Um, I'm feeling like this will definitely crochet like a cotton, but it's very soft. It has a very light twist on it. You can see it coming untwisted here. So, I'm interesting. It says you can make that hat on the front with one skein. But I don't really, I don't really have a need for a hat like that. So, um, since I have three of each, I will, we'll see what I make. But I just thought they were interesting. I was looking for these stashes. Why? I don't know. I don't need anybody's D stash. I got stuff I need to D stash myself. Anywho, I did find a lovely new hand dyer on Etsy in the process. So, there we go. Now, that is all of the yarn. So, we're going to move. Give me just a moment to swap things out and we'll move into the fabric portion of this. Okay, time for. Uh, the fabric obsessed portion of this. Uh, all of this fabric I'm about to show you came from Fabric Mart. I wound up putting in two orders within a couple of days of each other because of the sales they were having. Um, their Memorial Day sale was not, I've noticed that their sales aren't as good as they used to be, seems, but it's probably because of what's going on. They had 40% off the whole site, which is not that great. They did have $4.95 shipping, but. I had already ordered this and I got better prices on the fabric, even though I paid $10 shipping for each one. So, yeah. So, this first thing is something very interesting. They're holding a little make along of source, sorts. They have these panels, which they were like very strange panels. Is what they said. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it looks like you can kind of see it has a shape to the. It's like a pattern piece. Yeah, it's like that's a sleeve and then there's a bodice and there's two bodices on here and a couple of sleeves. So they were like $5.99 a panel. 
This is a very slinky jersey polyester lycra material. Um, yeah, $5.99 a panel. And what you do, you're supposed to make something out of this. You obviously won't be able to. They did put measurements for it. It's like a little dress. They had two different ones. Um, you don't have to make a dress with it. It's got like three sleeves and two half panels or something on here. Oh, these are whole panels. Okay, so. Um, but the challenge is to make something with this fabric. And uh, I'm going to do that. So I think it'll be fun. I'm not making a dress. Plus that dress shape is just not something that would... I would enjoy, I'm pretty sure. This is not, totally not folded up correctly. But it is slinky and I just want to get it out of the way. So, that's something I'm going to do. I'm thinking I probably will do it a cardigan of some kind. Um, and mix it. You can mix it with other fabrics. I think I'm going to mix it with a print. So, we'll see how that goes. I think that'll be fun. Okay. So... Now these next two are just plain old uh, knit. You can't even see that. It's kind of heathered. Where's my little tag? These always come with a tag, which is nice. I can remember. I can. I feel it. Okay. This is a rayon lycra jersey knit. Fifty-eight inches wide. I got a yard for three dollars and nineteen cents, which is really good. This is good for t-shirts t-shirts. I'm going to show you my podcast, which I got to film still. I've been making some t-shirts and it's good for stuff like that or mixed with prints. Um, now, if you are someone who <laughs> suffers from the hot flashes, like I myself am enjoying recently, uh, you definitely don't want a polyester blend shirt. I'm going to tell you, I told my mother that she likes to buy the big flowy shirts. She thinks it'll be cooler. But if it's a polyester, it's not going to be cooler because polyester does not breathe, y'all. And even if it's a nice flowy shirt, it's going to hold heat in. And if you're combusting from the inside, it's going to keep all that to you. So you don't want that. Um, a rayon is a more natural material. The process is not supernatural. They used to make rayon. But a rayon lycra, linens, cottons, those kind of things. And actually, which I'm going to talk about my podcast, the shirt I made, it had a wool and bamboo blend, which actually is very cool. <laughs> I was surprised to find out. So, uh, which was, it's an elastic, it's a t-shirty thing. So, uh, those are the kind of things you want to look for if you're, you're hot. You don't want polyester. It's like plastic. It's gonna make you hot. Alright, so anyway, I got that one and I got this one in this woo, you know. One of my favorite colors that I like. This one's actually more reddish. It's not the coral I usually get. This is chili pepper. It's the same kind and it was $3.19 a yard. So there's that. And I got one more knit, which I said I wasn't gonna buy any more knits because I have a ton of knits over there, y'all, that I need to make stuff with. But this one was <laughs> also 319 and I really loved the print so I had to get it this one's actually a this one is a polyester lycra but it's a double brushed which would be you could make this holds up better for a cardigan or like leggings which I didn't get enough to make leggings but I loved this print uh, it's, it, the double brush means it's like a soft feeling thing so um I may make like a cardigan or something out of it that I would wear when I want to actually be warm. Mm -hmm. but this right here is just a plain old khaki twill. These are good for bag making for different parts. Let me find my label. Yeah. Paid $3.99 a yard for this. It's a 100% cotton lightweight canvas suiting is what it actually is. So just the basic. Um, this is a shirting. It has a nice texture. These are good for bags for different things. Um, it is a white, but it has a very purple undertone. Um, some whites do that. It has a very purple undertone. Where is my sticker? Yeah, this is 
uh, 100% cotton shirting, pin dot shirting. Uh, it was three nineteen a yard. I got a yard and a quarter. Oh, they must have had just that all that was left. So it's very soft and very nice. It's very good for bag linings and things. Uh, so not your typical cotton. Has a little texture. Feels a little fancier, should I say? And you can get it for just as cheap on fabric.com if you look for the sales. So this is another. This one feels. I think this is a shirting too. This feels very much like something I would not want a shirt out of. Kind of has a little gridded pattern on it. It's hard to see, but that is. God, my labels are usually up where I can say they're. This is a soft cerulean, cerulean white, 100% cotton, a novelty weave shirting, 60 inches wide. What I like it about the shirtings too is that they're wider than your standard cotton that you would buy, the printed cottons like quilting cotton. So that's why it has that texture. It's a novelty weave, but it's it'll be good for bag bottoms or something like that. It's kind of thin, but it's got a good texture to it. All right, now this is white denim. Love the edge with the little red. Yeah, this is a white denim. It is, it was $4.79 a yard. Good for bag bottoms. Again, 100% cotton selvage denim twill. Now this is only 33 inches wide, which you will find with denim, sometimes they don't have quite the width of a lot of uh, apparel fabrics. I don't know what the deal is with that. This is another denim, just in a charcoal gray. Um, oh, it says, lucky me, I got the end of the bolt, so I got some extra. I don't know how much extra. I don't ever put how much extra I have to measure it, but I ordered a yard. Again, this one's 31 inches wide, and it's a dim gray cotton selvage denim. Four seventy nine, dollars but I got a little extra. So as you can see... I probably got to go a bit extra because this is a lot heavier than the white, which they're the same. So that's always nice when you get extra. Sometimes I look out and get extra. I have gotten over a yard extra. It's like I'm at the end of the bolt and I'm like, this is a whole another yard of fabric. <laughs> so I got this. This was actually, it says $5.99, but I want to say. It might have been $5.99, and that was the deal. It was a good deal. It is wool and nylon speckled tweed flannel suiting. Uh, I don't know how wide it is. It's about to get left off, but I got two yards of it. It's $5.99. Ooh, I might make a jacket out of it. I actually have some other in there in a different color. But it's also good for bags. Um, things like that's good for bags. This was $5.99, but... Like I said, it's got wool in it. It's a really nice fabric, actually. Um, this was like Sue's pick of the day, I want to say. This is normally like 15 to $20 a yard for this stuff. <laughs> so good deal. All right, now these are... This is a nylon... Fine Oxford Weave Canvas Utility Fabric. It says $9.99 a yard. I may have paid that for it because it's 58 inches wide. It's, I'm going to use these for my, some of my bag bottoms. So I figured it would make a little, nice durable one for the bigger ones, the big totes for what have you. Um, it's not waterproof, but it is really a durable fabric. And I also... Got it in, that was a light sea green. This is aquamarine sea. This one's a 100% nylon basket weave canvas. Also $9.99 a yard, but 61 inches in width. So it has a different texture to it. It's not as slippery as the other one. So this one is another, I got several of these for about bottom this one's a muted coffee it does have that more slicky feel to it now move these were oh, 
I'm gonna move some of this out of the way because I'm getting into this last bit. Okay, they had a ton of Joel Dewberry prints in a uh, what was it? A, it's a lightweight cotton twill. That's a print, a uh, twill sateen for $4.80 a yard, which is an awesome price. Um, some of it was still more. This one actually was $2.99 a yard. 100% cotton print, uh, cross print twill sateen. Um, so I got it in this, this is this color. And I got it. Why does this one say? This is weird. This one was two ninety nine a yard, and this one was four eighty a yard for some reason. That's weird. But I got those two, and it, it's a heavier weight since it's a twill than your standard print cotton, and it has a nice sheen to it because it's sateen. Very nice fabric for that price. And then I also got this one in this print, which I really like. Very purpley, not purpley. It's a magenta pink. Um, I think this one was four eighty a yard too, because some of them were over ten dollars a yard still. Some of them were twelve dollars a yard. Like a different version colorway of this was. I was like, why is it? I didn't understand. Oh, this is another lucky you. Um, so I got more than a yard with this. Um, yeah. So this is my free spirit. So this is a heavier weight cotton than the standard uh, quilting cotton. And then I got this print, which I really love. I got like two yards of this print because I loved it so much. And I would make bigger bags because it's a bigger, well, that print's medium print. This is a bigger, like wider print. Um, I think I paid, oop, there's my sticker. Yeah, four eighty a yard. I actually got three yards of this. I think that's all they had left. I got. I think I got. It. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like this. Like I said, this is a more durable, great for bag because it's and it's got that sheen. I was so excited to find that. And I wish. I hope they put the other prints on sale that much. I don't know why some of them. Like I said, it was the same print, just different colors, and they had it for twelve dollars instead of four eighty a yard. I didn't understand that, but. That was my note, just so you know. Just snort one over there. Quite determined that I'm going to take them out. Uh, so that is my uh, yarn and fabric haul. I decided to separate this out because it was quite a bit from my podcast. And I have quite a bit to show in my podcast already. So there is more yarn coming this way. And I feel like... There's more, I don't know, I've been ordering stuff. I've been ordering stuff for the mini, for the Maker Advent Calendar. If you haven't signed up for that, there's still spots available. Go get it. Um, I have been ordering fabric for clubs. I think I've got June and July fabrics already ordered. Some hasn't arrived yet. I need to check on that. Oh, I have some fabric coming from Girl Charlie. That is more knit fabric. Ah, y'all, that's ridiculous. If you could see, I'll put a little picture at the end of my shelf, and like the third shelf down is knits. It's all knits, and actually, there's a little bit of overflow of the heavier weight knits on the shelf below it. But it's all knit fabric. It's ridiculous. I have an obsession. Anywho, I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, fabric and yarn haul. Um, I have more videos to record today, so I'm going to get, get busy doing that. Y'all remember have a life? <laughs> Let me try that again. Y'all remember to have a life lived creatively, and I will see y'all later. Bye.